vlog number two this week i'm really proud of myself i told myself i really want to start vlogging so i'm just gonna try my best personally i really like to watch vlogs so i want to try and do it myself it's something different to perfume and i love to watch them myself and my life is not always so interesting a lot of the time it's quite boring and I don't know, I like watching both types of videos. Exciting videos, travel vlogs, but I also like when people just sit down and talk to the camera. So I'm gonna see how it goes, how this vlogging journey goes. Maybe you guys will hate my vlogs, maybe you'll love them. Let's see. Anyways, I'm on a new camera. I found this camera actually in Australia and I brought it home with me because I feel like it's quite good. I'm not sure you guys will have to let me know. Anyways, guys, today I have to shoot a video with a company here in Dubai that I've recently started working with. It's called Tash by T. So basically I go there and we do some perfume content, uh, things like that. Uh, anyways, I need to get ready. I've just got out of the shower. I'm running a little bit late, hence why I'm talking so quickly. And I thought I would vlog doing my makeup since a lot of you guys ask. So I will kind of talk a little bit about what I'm doing, but not in depth so much, um, unless that's something that you guys really want. So let's try. I'm not really gonna do like a tutorial and like tell you guys every single product, if that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I'm just gonna quickly prime my skin a bit. You know, I'm not really into very much makeup these days. I'm more into like skincare and actually my skin hasn't... Okay, I know my skin is not bad, but I haven't really broken out for a very, very long time. And I think with like traveling to Australia and stuff, it really made my skin like stressed, I guess. So I started to break out a bit. Um, but yeah, I don't really wear very much makeup anymore unless I'm filming because I love to wear makeup when I'm filming. Or if I'm going out for like dinner and stuff, which doesn't happen that often. Um, so yeah. For foundation, I like to use this BB cream from Misha. It's a Korean brand. Um, yeah, it's a BB cream. I just put a little bit of that on, maybe like one pump. And then I mix it with my other favorite foundation. Just a little bit of the Airbrush Flaws foundation from Charlotte Tilbury, which I love that one. Again, kind of one pump on the back of the hand. Just mix it around blend the colors and then go ahead and apply a little bit everywhere you guys will see like my makeup is really easy with what i do um it's nothing complicated but yeah i feel like it's back in the old days of like makeup tutorial <laughs> makeup tutorial which i feel like makeup it's quite i'm, I'm not going to say irrelevant because it's still very much relevant but like youtube tutorials i feel like that's not really a thing anymore I'm just looking at my hairline right now and I'm having, um, it happens for me, like it happens sometimes, some months, some weeks, and I don't know, it's kind of like eczema on my, just here in my hairline. And I was talking with my hairdresser and she said it's probably from stress, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not convinced. Doesn't, doesn't really go away. Anyways. So now uh, my base is on. I'm going to put on a little bit of concealer. My favorite one is this. I have repurchased it since I was like 16 years old. Another Korean brand, like I said, big fan of Korean skincare, but also some of their makeup products are really, really good and really affordable. This one is the Sayem Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. Um, let me know if you guys want me to like link something, but I think it's more just like a vlog. Ah, oh, something on my face. So I'm just going to put a few dots. One, two, three. One, two, three. And a little bit on my nose. And a little bit on my chin as well. That's it. I really love the formula of this one because it's very creamy and blendable, but, um, but good. I feel like I really don't even know how to talk about makeup anymore, but I love that concealer. So you guys will see. Okay, so now that is nicely blended in, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of set some areas of my face. Um, my favorite powder to use is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. Big fan of Charlotte Tilbury, you guys are gonna see that. This is just their set flawless finish setting powder. I'm just gonna take a small brush and just kind of set a few areas that tend to get oily. Cause me, I have like combination oily skin. So I just like to set just a little bit, not too much. Um, I have a few pimples today, I probably should have made more of an effort to cover them up, but oh well, YOLO. Okay, and then what I like to do with my under eye is use a different setting powder. 
I like to use this one from Givenchy. It's um, Prism Libre. I don't really know what that means. I don't know if it's um, anything. I just like to use it. I can just do a little bit of baking on the side of my nose as well. All right, I'm just leaving it like that for now. Nothing crazy. I wasted a lot. Next, I'm gonna do my eyes. Um, this is my favorite palette. I've had it for so many years and it's my favorite just because it's so simple and it's exactly what I like. Just super neutral matte eyeshadow. It is the Visor Neutral Matte Palette and like I said, it's been a long time riding with me this baby. I have like four eyeshadow palettes, two Visor, one Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury and one Natasha Denona that I never used that was way, way, way overpressed. But this is my favorite, it's my ride or die little palette. So what I'm gonna do first is just go into the light colors to kind of like put some on my lid. I like to focus quite a lot in the inner here because I feel like it makes your eyes look more um, wide, I guess you could say. Um, and I like that. I, if you look back in a lot of my videos, this part of my eye is always quite light. It's just something I like to do. Um, yeah, so next up what I'm gonna do is just grab a fluffy brush and go into the browns So usually I like to mix these ones here Those two I just mix them together and just put them everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that Why do I feel so nervous doing a makeup tutorial? I don't know why <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna dip into those With just a fluffy brush. This one was in Australia. It's a Mac brush um and I brought it back with me and I, I don't know, I forgot how this one works. So let's, let's see. Okay. Wow, picks up a lot of product. So yeah, just kind of going everywhere. Keeping the inner part like quite light still, so don't go all the way. And then you can kind of like, kind of um, disperse it quite far out to here. Cause we're gonna do something after. This camera looks like it's doing much better in terms of battery, so maybe it's going to become my new vlogging camera because I have the, I have the, I think it's the Sony ZV-11, um, but the battery life of that camera, as much as I really like it, it's very small, very light, it's very easy to use. The battery life is shocking, you guys, like shocking. It lasts one 30 minute video and then it's completely dead. So if you want to film like four videos in a row, it's physically impossible and it's just such a nightmare. Like, and then you have to actually charge the camera by um, plugging something into the camera. Like you can't charge it externally. Like you can't charge an external battery and then put it inside. You just have to actually take the camera, plug it into, does that make sense? Not really. So now what I'm going to do is take those browns underneath as well. Okay, so I'm grabbing a brush that looks like this if you guys can see properly with my amazing skills. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go into the darkest brown over here, just a very, very small amount. And I'm gonna start to just go a little bit on my lash line here and drag it out just a little bit. Tap off a lot of the excess, otherwise you end up with like huge uh, smudge. So I just like to go on the waterline a little bit. And then I like to pick up a little more product and go from underneath. And then now just kind of drag it outwards. So you kind of have like an eyeliner situation, but I don't want it to be so strong. So what I'm going to do now is go back in with this brush, pick up a little bit of the lighter brown shades and start to kind of blend it. So it looks more like drawn out. Okay. So you should have something that looks a little like this. You can see it's like, kind of like a cat eye, but very soft. And that's what I was going for exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera, I think, so I can save my battery. So this is what we have so far. Um, I'm pretty happy. It looks a little more smoky actually than I was expecting, but I still really like it. So it's just, as you can see guys, it's really, really easy. Just make sure that you just keep on blending. It's like a mixture of three brown tones and the darker one, it just goes to kind of create that shape. That's it. That's what I like to do. That's what I always do. Sometimes I like to put like a burgundy color on my lash line, which I think really suits my uh, specific eye color. I love to sometimes put a little bit of a smoky burgundy color, but today I'm just gonna go with quite simple. Um, and yeah, that's it. 
So I think I will finish by just doing my lashes and stuff and my eyebrows and then we'll go ahead and do the face. Also, sometimes I like to do like this little um, minuscule line to kind of extend this part, my tear duct. Um, but today I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is, I think. I hope, I wish I could ask you guys right now what you think, but for me, I think I will just leave it like that. I'm pretty happy. And that's it, really simple. Like it took me, with my eyes, it took me maximum eight minutes, but on camera a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I will tell you guys a very sad story about curling my eyelashes. At some point I was so obsessed with it, like it was actually an addiction of curling my eyelashes. Like, it was not like an addiction, but I was doing it like four times a day until I realized, this was probably like mid last year, until I realized that my eyelashes started to fall out because I was curling them so much. And after I realized, like I had a huge gap on this eyelash and I was like, oh my God, fuck. Like I am curling my eyelashes four times a day and I didn't realize it was the problem. I thought that it's really safe to curl your eyelashes all the time. And it wasn't, it was literally making my eyelashes fall out because I was obsessively doing it because I really love the look of eyelashes that are very up. And I know a lot of people are gonna say to get your eyelashes lifted. Um, I'm kind of scared of getting anything done to my eyes by anyone else, so um, I won't do that. And I started to like literally never curl my eyelashes. I became kind of scared and I just never wanted to do it. And then I bought my eyelash serum on Amazon, which changed my life. And it made my eyelashes grow so much. You will see results if you use this eyelash serum from Amazon after about two months. And if you consistently use it every single night, I swear to you guys, you will 100% see results from this serum, which I'm going to actually link it down below. It will be an affiliate link, but I'm not sponsored obviously by this company, but it changed my eyelashes, like changed. Not overnight because it does take a while, like maybe two months or so um, before you start to see any huge difference. But then after that, it's crazy. The difference is absolutely crazy. Usually I wear this mascara, the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, I guess it's called. This honestly is the best mascara ever. Like without a doubt, it is the best. Actually, Pierre's mum made me buy it and no regrets since I bought it. It's the best one ever. But because I used it when I had an infection, I think I'm not going to use it today. This is the only clean mascara that I have. So I think I'm just going to use that. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic. So I will try to use this. It's a new one that my mum gave me in, in Australia. So I'll try to use it. Okay, the mascara, it's not bad. I much prefer the benefit, but we're working with what we have today. So I will show you guys. I like to leave the first coat to dry and then I like to do something else after I curl my lashes again. Um, and then I reapply another like two or three coats, but I will show you that after. And in the meantime, I'm going to start to do my skin, the base. My favorite bronzer ever is by Hourglass. It is the ambient lighting bronzer in radiant bronze light. That is my absolute favorite. It's so beautiful. It's so goddess-like and I just love it so much. So we're going to take this brush. We're going to take a big brush like this and go ahead and just put it on. Oh, I love bronzer, guys. I like it as well because it has kind of like a shimmer inside of it. So at the t same time as like bronzing, it's also kind of giving your skin a glow, which some people might not like, but me, I personally really love it. And I like to follow the line of my natural cheekbone, like where you see the shadow, that's what I like to do and then bring it up as well. Okay, so what, ugh, there's a hair on my face. I'm now gonna go ahead and contour my nose. I just have one of those Charlotte Tilbury um, bronze and glow. I'm going to use this shade to contour my nose, which I love doing. I love contouring my nose. I'm just taking a very small brush and doing this. So I like to start by going on like the tip here. Um, don't ask me to explain what I, my process because I have no idea. Okay, so my camera just cut off. I don't know why it said something about the temperature. Kind of strange, but I was contouring my nose. So I kind of just put a little bit of powder like here and here to like define the tip a little bit and then I like to go just along the sides try and make my nose a little skinnier 
Actually, I have a really um, bad problem with this nostril and I can't really smell out of it, which is crazy because I'm doing perfume, but when I, sorry, whenever I try to like smell out of this nostril by itself, I cannot. The other one is okay, this one, not at all. And then I looked inside and I have like a very deviated septum on this side. And not gonna lie, I did consider a nose job, but I'm really scared to... I'm really scared that it would make things worse because me, I'm a mouth breather. Like I never breathe through my nose. I always breathe through my mouth. And I feel like my nose, um, I think I could really benefit from a nose job. Obviously aesthetics wise, I would, again, that's something that I would love to get one day. Um, I don't know. I'm just really scared. Like what if it comes, I don't know. I'm just really scared. If any of you have ever had a nose job, let me know how it went or if you've had your septum fixed. Uh, your deviated septum like changed or whatever because I watched some videos about it and people like when their reaction is like oh my god I can smell for the first time ever it really makes me want to get it done but then I've seen people say that it goes worse some people have really bad experiences so I don't know I'm quite scared about about doing anything so if you guys have ever had an experience with that let me know uh, now what I'm going to do is just kind of put a little line around here create that little button effect that everyone is obsessed with, including me. I drag it into my eyeshadow so that it's all very blended. All right, I like my nose contour today. Sometimes it's on, on point, sometimes it's not. Okay, so that is it before blending it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my sponge and go over the top a little bit. Just to kind of soften any lines and that's it I want it to be quite strong because I'm doing like something on camera so I would like it to be you know all right blush hourglass again big fan of hourglass Charlotte Tilbury and that's about it hourglass and Charlotte Tilbury love their products I really feel like they're worth the money because they are expensive but I feel like it's worth it um, I just like to use this shade in the middle because it's the only blush that I have actually. I'm gonna go ahead and apply quite a bit by the way guys, so don't be shocked. Again, it has like a little bit of a shimmer inside, which I just love. Oh, that's quite a lot. So one more time, gonna go over with the Beauty Blender just to make sure everything is nicely smooth and blended. Like I said, I like to recurl my eyelashes again and put on another two to three coats of mascara. That is the key for me guys, is recurling the lashes. Like look already, it made a huge difference in my opinion. I think I would try a different mascara because I'm not really a big fan of the telescopic. I would try this um, Maybelline one. Now for brows, you, you guys probably think like my order of doing makeup is so strange because whenever I watch like a, oh no, I lost my, oh, that's all I have left of my brow pencil. So I need to get another one. Hey, <laughs> the worst tutorial of all time. You guys will see with brows, I barely do nothing because for me personally, I am really not a fan of the big thick brow look. Uh, at all. It's just when I was younger, I used to love it But now I feel like it for me personally it just overpowers my face So basically I just kind of fill in any sparse areas and that's that's about it <laughs> I have a few like little sparse areas around here So just use the pencil to fill that in I need to order some food. I just went and had a spoonful of hummus out of the fridge that I made yesterday That's so 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 good I think my hummus that I make at home, it's really delicious. If you guys ever get the chance to try it. I'm also thinking on this vlogging channel of doing a few cooking things um, because it's something I'm really interested in. Much more than I'm interested in makeup. I'm only doing this video because I know so many of you girls ask me, what is your makeup routine? How do you do your makeup? How do you do, like, what is your lip liner? What is your eyeshadow? So I wanted to do it for you guys, but just know it's makeup is really, as much as I really love it and appreciate it and love what it does for me and I love to wear it sometimes, it's really not a big interest for me at all. Like I never watch 
makeup videos or TikTok videos on makeup. It's just um, not really my thing anymore. I'm much more interested in like cooking. So I will do some cooking on this channel because I love to cook. I am not a part of the low calorie cooking gang. I'm more a part of the, I just want to eat something delicious gang. I just started getting back into putting on a little bit of highlighter. I stopped doing that for a long time. Like I really was not a part of the highlighter gang, but I'm going to just put a little bit for the sake of it. I found this one in my Australian makeup collection, so I'm just going to use it. It's the Jouer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, citrine highlighter. Just to go over with this. I'm getting kind of hungry, guys. I think I'm going to order some something healthy on Deliveroo. Like I mentioned in the unpacking vlog, that is what's crazy about Dubai and something I'm very sad to say that I love so much is that if you're hungry and like right now I don't really have much time to cook and I actually don't really have that much to cook and I think if I do something I'm going to run a bit late. So I think I would just order something healthy and delicious and it will be here in like 10 minutes super easy and it's something yeah i really love that about dubai finally for lips you guys always ask me in australia i had my lip line on the same one but it was like quite small and i remember one night i was kind of drunk with my sister jenna it's my other sister that you guys have never seen and i was just like missing her so much and she was like oh damn what's on your lips i really love it what what sort of lip pencil is it? i'm gonna go and buy one and i just took it out of my purse i didn't have any other lip liners with me and i was like just take it and then i realized the next day i was like oh fuck like i have no lip liners so i went out and got another one and it is charlotte tilbury's pillow talk again charlotte tilbury fan i love pillow talk lip liner i think it's beautiful and it happens to suit like most people i feel so it's definitely a safe option in terms of a lip liner if you want something quite neutral um i think it's perfect i like to overdraw as you guys know that's something that never is going to change about me i don't do lip fillers i just like to overdraw my lips a little bit and then in the middle um, I like to just put on a lip balm. I don't really like to wear lipstick, but I love this. It's the Dior Lip Glow. And I like something really moisturizing on my lips because I feel like they always become dry for some reason. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that on. And voila, that is it. That is my famous makeup routine. I'm sure it's a lot less complicated than what you guys were expecting. Um, let me see what it looks like at the finished product. Okay. Feeling the vibes. That is it, guys. Um, I will show you my outfit once I have it on. Um, I was asked to wear like beigey tones, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair now, but I'm not going to do that on camera. I use the Dyson Air Wrap, but I don't really like the the wands i'm not gonna lie it doesn't work for me i have tried so many times to make that work for me it just doesn't my hair literally just falls out after uh maybe after 10 minutes the curls they just drop out completely and i've tried every single hack on the internet to make them stay in and it just doesn't i'm not sure what's wrong with me or what i'm doing i have really soft hair so curls they just don't hold in my hair unless i get them like professionally done they just do not hold um but with that being said i love the blow drying tool from the dyson like it's my favorite that's always how i do my hair i love to blow dry it with the dyson it's perfect amazing for me but i probably just could have got one like 20 dollars on amazon if that was what i wanted <laughs> so yeah the dyson I like it and I don't at the same time. The tools are so cool, like the, the wrapping system, it's incredible and it's so easy to use. But I think if you have soft hair, you're gonna have a hard time with making the curls last. Um, but for me, I love the blow drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then I'll come back and talk to you guys after. This is my outfit for the shoot today. They told me like beigey tones. I think this is, this is okay. I mean, I have a little bit of black, but you're not really going to see my bag in the in the shoot. Blazer is Massimo Dutti, one of my favorite places to shop. The top is Joa Brown. I'm not a big fan of the 
the cut though it looked much nicer online but it's still really nice and it's really nice quality and the skirt as well my new favorite skirt ever i feel like it gives such a nice shape is also from massimo so yeah that is the finished look i'm gonna go perfume myself and head out and this is the finished makeup look as well if you guys wanted to see I really, I like it. It's what I do every single time. Sometimes it turns out better than other times. I really like it today, so yeah. Gonna go film.